Today's Super Blast is coming from the Nutribullet RX recipe book. It's called Cream of Broccoli from page 135. And I actually made this soup um, with the suggested white potato, but one of my co-workers said, I don't want to use a white potato. I want to use a yam or a white yam. So I found white yams at uh, Fairway, uh, 74th Street and Broadway. Um, it was in the, it was near the potato section by the cherries. I don't know why it was there. Uh, they run for about $1.49 a pound. They're, they're, they're not available all year round and they're not very hard. They're not very easy to find. So if you have trouble buying finding a white yam, I would just use a sweet potato because the flavor is really similar. So I'm going to make the cream of broccoli soup with the same amount of ingredients in terms of measurement, but we're going to swap it out for the white yam. So let's just get into how we made this. I'm going to start with four cups of frozen broccoli florets. Now the book said to use two pet bunches of broccoli. First of all, the soup came out way too thick. Second of all, at 279 a head, organic, there's just no way. So if you're looking for frozen broccoli florets, they were the same price in New York. One's from Trader Joe's and one's from Whole Foods. I paid about $2.79. Even though prices do change depending on the season and availability, but the point is that's where I got this. Now I'm gonna use a half of a small onion or, or 38 grams. One small white yam at 80, I think it's 81 grams. 3 4 teaspoon of Himalaya salt, 1 4 uh, teaspoon of black pepper, and 2 cups of unsweetened almond milk. And that was it. Very, just 6 ingredients. The only thing that gets tricky is you need to cook the potato, let it cool because you can't add hot, hot stuff to the blender. Put the lid on. Place this on the base and press the G to go from green to red. Okay, so because the ingredients were frozen and cold, it's not as popping hot as normal, but for me, the temperature is just good enough to eat. So if you wanted to cook it a little bit more, of course, you can put it on the stove, but you cannot reuse it on the Nutribullet RX. It's just a one shot kind of deal. So, with that being said, it's taste test time. It's good. I, I honestly don't taste the difference. Hmm. Let me try it one more time. No. To me, the taste is pretty much the same. One more time. I'm having a hard time taking this in. Because the onions is a dominating flavor, then broccoli, I guess the potatoes just used as like the cream. It, I don't taste anything. Um, but if you're not big on onions, I would highly suggest to cut that in half, which would be about 19 grams. I love onions, but honestly, maybe for my guests, I would cut this in half. But um, check this out. And um, tell me what your thought is. So whether you use a white potato, a white yam, or a regular plastic potato, I think you're going to be in good shape. And until my next post, get interested out. Enjoy the soup. Bye.